What does community mean to you? Here at Broken Arrow Schools, we can't think of anything better than the communities we create, both inside the classroom and out in the world. Our community is rooted in our four core values, where relationships with students, teachers, parents, civic leaders, and businesses are what drive our success. We celebrate our diversity along the way by building a rapport with each other, no matter what path of life we walk on. Community means connection, concern for others, and a commitment to showing we care. It's about working toward a common goal so that we can accomplish more together than we ever could alone. Community is not a luxury. It is a necessity. It involves intentionally and purposely pursuing relationships that positively connect us to one another. Community means new beginnings and embracing challenges. Community is 35 maintenance department employees doing our job to make it easier for you to do your job. Community is formed intentionally, not by accident. It takes work, but it's worth it. Community means volunteers and partners from the business sector. Tireless hours of giving time, money, and helpful hands are what make our businesses unique in Broken Arrow. Around the community, Broken Arrow schools are synonymous with helping hands and wonderful volunteers. Selfless acts of kindness displayed by our students, administrators, and teachers help build and strengthen our unity as one of the greatest districts in the state. Community is finding our commonalities while embracing our differences. Community is about partnerships and connections. Community is about relationships. Community isn't just about living in Broken Arrow. It's about kindness and giving back. Community is engaging all of Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow is about building community and service above self. Broken Arrow is a gift. Community means providing resources and activities to further enhance our academics, athletics, and fine arts programs. Showcasing our students on state and national levels in competitions and academic prowess is key to their future successes, both in collegiate life and beyond. State-of-the-art classrooms, equipment, curriculum, and technology unify our students under a common bond of academic excellence. Community is starting new traditions and building a championship culture. Community is building champions for life. It's creating an environment that inspires our students to achieve their highest academic, athletic, and personal potential. Community is showing up in droves of black and gold and cheering the Tigers on to victory. Community is taking pride in working together. Community means a sense of belonging where all our students feel accepted and loved. Community is 31 school sites all across the district using technology to teach our kids in innovative ways. Community is feeling connected. That connection comes from being part of something that's bigger than yourself, giving more than you take, and having compassion for others. Community is all of us working together to educate and empower students and families to make our world a better place. Community is 13 years at Broken Arrow Public Schools and graduating with 1,300 of my closest friends. Community means togetherness, community means support, community means belonging, and community is Broken Arrow.
Broken Arrow Public Schools Foundation is here in the community to help support the Broken Arrow Public Schools. We are here to help enhance the education of students and making sure that they are successful in their educational journey through the school system. The foundation has been around since 1992 and in that time we've given back over a million dollars to the Broken Arrow Public School System. Some of the things that the foundation helps with is with project graduation, PPE this last year, and the STEM facilities in the middle school. Teacher grants are one of our favorite things that we get to do each year and this allows us to fund things in the classroom that the teacher needs and those things that the teacher needs enhances our students learning capabilities. A lot of things we do could not be possible without the support of the Broken Arrow community. We have several partners throughout the community that help make this possible. So thank you for what you do. We know it takes a lot to educate a child from pre-K all the way up to 12th grade, but we want to help make those moments magical for in the classroom for those teachers and for those students. So being part of the foundation, we are able to give back to the teachers, give back to the students to help advance their educational experience. And by you helping out, you can help us make more magical moments in the classroom and for the student. For more information on how you can get involved and help the foundation, please go to BAPSFoundation.org. Thank you. Good evening, Broken Arrow, and welcome to the 114th Commitment Ceremony for Broken Arrow High School. Tonight, we celebrate the class of 2022. I'm Ethan Scott, alongside Jasmine Bell, and you are watching a special graduation edition of The Pulse. We will be with you guys for the next 60 minutes as we count down to the big moment we have all been waiting for. We have some brand new Arrowvision content, as well as some of the best student-produced Broken Arrow High School videos of the year. The class of 2022 has waited 13 years for this evening. And while the last two have been challenging for us all, this evening we celebrate not only all we have overcome, but all we have accomplished. First up on tonight's show, we hear from many members of the class of 22 as they share some of their best memories from one of the kind school years. After that, we spotlight one of the district's biggest nights of the year, the Star Wars Gala. BA Schools brought back the event to the Stony Creek Center to celebrate 31 site teachers of the year with five beyond and above support employees of the year. Check out the AeroVision highlights. What's up, BA? It's your senior class president, Timothy Farlow. And student council president, Braley Brugman. With all of the amazing events we've had this year, I've come lots of memories. Things like cheering at football games, Grand Nationals, or even just meeting new people. These are things we will remember forever. With that being said, let's hear some of our best senior memories. Leaving the Broken Arrow Tigers this year is like leaving a family that I've been with for four years. The bonds that I've created with these girls has definitely been a huge impact on my life. and. Tigets has taught me so much on how to be a leader and how to just be a good person in general. And I'm just so happy I've got to be a part of this type of team and just, gonna, I'm gonna miss it forever. Making friendships with Broken Arrow has been a really unique opportunity. We go to one of the bigger schools in this area. Uh, each day you get to see a new face or you can see friends from old days as well. It's really awesome to walk down the hallway and always have that opportunity of there could be a new friend. Broken Arrow Athletics has set me up for my future in the way that it has helped me become a leader. Uh, it's helped me become like, more of a person that I want to be. Um, I feel like I grew up a lot throughout these uh, four years being here, and I'm really, I just really appreciate them, uh, the coaches taking me under their wing. My favorite experience from Broken Arrow is the football games and having all of the jungle screaming and chanting while you're sitting there doing chants. Um, the thing that I'm going to miss most about the drama department is definitely the people. Um, during the one-act production scenes from Family Life, I got really close to a lot of people in theater, 
and they're the reason why I come to school every day, honestly. Something I'm definitely gonna miss the most about Broken Arrow is just all the events and like all the memories I've made with friends and getting ready for the events and just going to like things like Aloha Bash and Boot Scoot with all my closest friends and just having so much fun. It's been really easy making friendships at Broken Arrow because leadership has made it so easy with like getting outside my comfort zone and being like more involved at school sports and stuff. AP Club has definitely prepared me for AP tests and getting college credit before I even touch foot on a college campus. And the memories that I've made there have been outstanding. My favorite memory from this year would be State. Even though we got second, it was still, we had like the best routine hands down and the team was just so bonded at that time. And it was such a good memory and we all had the best time of our lives. All of us were still really happy with what we did. So the bonds we have in the Brick and Show Corps team is we're all very family oriented. We love each other so much. We're always with each other all the time. And one of my favorite memories from our, us being together was we went to New York this year and there was one time where we were all in a big circle and we got to share our memories with each other of like how much we loved each other and how we've grown with each other over the year. My favorite memory for my senior year was definitely leadership retreat. It was so much fun getting to meet new people and create new bonds and I got to learn so much about people and we really got to see how in reality we all have a lot of the same problems and it really was comforting. My best memory has to be getting out of my comfort zone and meeting new people and definitely winning Mr. Evening Wear Help. My favorite memory from being on eSports is when I was able to go on stage for the first time to play in one of these tournaments. The first one, the big one, was the Atoka Invitational where a bunch of schools all across Oklahoma got to play against each other in this tournament where I specifically played Overwatch and we destroyed everybody and we were able to win. Being a senior in drama feels really good. Having the underclassmen really look up to you, you kind of have to set an example and having that much power, that much influence on future generations is really good. Having the opportunity and experience to be in band in this high school is truly remarkable. It's, um, it's amazing that I could say that I'm a Grand National Champion, which is the best in the nation in the band community. So it's very, it's very special for me to be able to say that I am one of a kind and a group that was one of a kind for its time. And one of the best memories that I've made from this uh, experience was being able to step foot on a national football field and look up into the crowd and see everybody supporting you for just being yourself. My favorite memories would have to be filming GMBA because it's just, it's so much fun. Even when we have bloopers, it just, I feel like it brings us together more and it's just, it's really fun. My favorite memories of this year, uh, whenever it comes to like Aerovision, the GMBA class, uh, I really enjoyed being able to host uh, this year. Uh, it was definitely awesome to be behind the camera for the first time. And having my own segment, um, I really enjoyed being able to have my own creative twist uh, on the weekly episode. And it was really cool to be able to produce something that the entire school got to see. As you can tell, our year has been full of fun events and great memories. From Aloha Bash to prom, every event and memory in between has been nothing short of amazing. Thank you, class of 2022, for a great year. I can say 100% uh, this is, I've had some good jobs, but this is the best environment I've ever worked for. This is the most support I've ever had from any team. Thank you, I appreciate it. First I want to say thank you so much to everyone that makes this process and this event possible. It's such an honor to be nominated and um, to go through this process, and I know that it takes a lot of work. Um, and a lot of dedication. Thank you to my um, family and my support system, the people that are here with me. Grew up in Broken Arrow, I went here K through 12, and my life was impacted 
by teachers that are sitting in this room, and I will never forget just what I feel in this moment and how empowered I feel to go continue changing lives. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I've been teaching at Broken Arrow High School since 1990. The last probably seven years I've taught AP English and before that I was completely on level, sometimes honors, sometimes pre-AP, and I also teach SAT prep. A lot of AP students think or feel that it's impossible to pass the AP test. And what I help them do is make them realize that the impossible is possible. And it's so probably one of the best feelings when they come back in the summer and thank me for, you know, giving them the skills and the knowledge to pass that test. Embracing adversity and getting out of your comfort zone is when you grow the most. And I have to convince my AP kids, you're in here and you're growing each and every day. You don't even realize it. So just knowing that those kids, you know, who write those notes that say, thank you for believing in me. You're the first teacher who ever believed in me. I mean, that's what I strive for is to, because every kid has potential and to see them shine and learn how to just let go and be themselves and not worry about being perfect, to just kind of let it go and trust that I, as your teacher, am gonna get you there and we're gonna work together to, to make it happen. I'm from Arizona, but I've been in Broken Arrow since fifth grade. I grew up uh, as a Linwood Roadrunner and ended up right here at Central Middle School, North Intermediate, and then eventually the Senior High. I spent 17 years after high school in the financial industry, working as a banker and stockbroker, and at age 37 decided to come back and get my education degree, and it's been the best decision ever to come back and end up at Broken Arrow High School. So my student teaching experience started with Jonelle Wilson. We were teaching pre-AP Algebra II, and uh, Jonelle has become one of my best friends, and our department head, Jill Taylor, is one of the best that I've ever met. Uh, not only is she a great teacher, she's a great leader for our department, I love teaching math courses because as a high school student myself, I struggled with math and so I had great teachers at the high school that were able to get me to where I needed to be and so I want to be that for those students. One of the most influential teachers in my life was my grandfather. He spent over 30 years teaching middle school math on the Navajo reservations in Arizona and so for him, it wasn't just about teaching. There were often times he had to intervene in home lives that were less than ideal. He, I remember him telling me two, three times a week he was providing meals for students that didn't have any. And so he viewed his students not just as his students, they were his children. And so I take that same mentality into, into my classroom. Yeah, math is good, math is important, math can even be interesting, uh, but what drives me day in, day out is I want to meet the needs of my students first. Next up on the show, we spotlight a couple of videos from the fine arts world at Broken Arrow High School as we celebrate the grandest band in all the land, our grand national champions, Pride of Broken Arrow. After that, we have a special story about Hope Cannon. Our incredible Broken Arrow High School student council members and leadership students raised money throughout the year to grant wishes for the kids from BA through the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Thanks to the high school's fundraising efforts, Hope, a student from Country Lane Intermediate, was able to take a trip to Disney World. BAHS recently celebrated her by decorating the hallways and dressing up as Disney characters. Check out these two incredible AeroVision videos and we will be back shortly. With the COVID suspension of lack of competition, this was 
in its infancy the, the show that we were going to do a year ago. What that did is it gave us an extra year to redesign and re-examine and uh, continue to refine and develop the program that we gave our students to perform this year. But I'll tell you what, it was, it, it was probably early in the season that the staff and I would look at each other and go, yeah, this has a chance to be really special. And, and I think as we would talk to our students throughout the season, as we could tell that they were growing into the performance and growing into the show, that they were making, elevating the show to a higher level of students, then things start to really click, that, that there really was a chance here to be not just something special with a number or a score, but to define us as a program uh, and to elevate the art form and the activity. And when you have all those components put together, special things really do happen. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, both exhausting and exhilarating. I moved here for the marching band and being able to participate in this activity for four years has been the biggest honor of my life. And then being able to be a Grand National Champion is even a bigger honor. It's, it's absolutely insane. I felt like I was dreaming. When, when I knew, like, oh my word, you've done it. I, I literally did not feel real. I was convinced that someone was gonna wake me up tell me that my nap was over and I had to go perform finals. It, it was just surreal because you sit there and you hold your friend's hands and they call 12th place and it's not you and they, you know, they count down and they count down and every name that's not yours you get a little more hopeful and, and anxious. Even when they called Carmel as second, I was like, uh-uh, I don't believe it till I hear us called first. With a score of 98 point and then it just blew up. Everyone was freaking out. With a score of 98 <laughs> magical, happy ending moment. Like, I never thought I'd have that moment because a win's never guaranteed, but to know that for a moment we were the best in the world at what we did, it, it's something so special and I'll remember it forever. Honestly, the only word to describe it is just tears. Um, everything that we've put in, all the work we've put in, all the hours, and in that moment, you just have everything hit you. And it really wasn't about the score. I felt it more after the performance. When I pulled my horn down, I just started crying. I couldn't stop, I just started crying. And I saw people stand up and clap and scream and hold up signs. And I saw random people's faces that were on big like boards. It was, it was so surreal. And when we heard the score, you know, I, I'm a nerd. I knew we broke the record and I just, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it was our show that did it. I couldn't believe it was after COVID year and I just, I was in shock. Having not been to nationals since 2018, there was, you know, not a lot of people knew what was going on, including the seniors. You know, we hadn't been there since we were freshmen. So I think we spent a lot of our year trying to help them understand how big uh, Grand Nationals will feel. Like looking up into those stands, it's insane to, to see all these thousands and thousands of faces looking at you and waiting to see what you're gonna do. So we were just trying to prepare them for that moment make sure they felt ready, felt comfortable, made sure they knew they had a team behind them to support them. There's always a lot of talk about Indy and the experience and how much fun it is. And I think this year, my goal as a senior was just to be with my section, to love them and have as much fun as we possibly could. It was just awesome to make memories with the people I've been working with for a really long time. And to see all the freshmen and sophomores and juniors who I kind of like brought up, to start having the best time of their lives, you know? This community, I mean, is is unbelievable. To know how our community in Broken Arrow has supported our band program year after year after year, decade after decade, and um, to have a, a, a welcome home party um, with a police escort coming into town and to see, I mean, it was a sea of people as far as you could see um, once we rolled into the school. Um, that were there to support and celebrate these incredible student performers. Ten years, twenty years from now, I'll remember that at that moment in time, 
that as great as the band was through those different performances, that everything that could possibly click did in their finals performance. There's a set of benchmarks right after another where this happens, it's like, oh, I hope we get to this next moment and they do it really well. And then you get to the next moment, it's like, well, we're home free if we can get to this moment. It was, to me, a transcendent performance that I was not watching high school uh, students perform. I was watching young professionals um, do what they really love. At the end of the day, it's, it's the students, it's the kids, the performers, committing of themselves um, to do something that's bigger than the individual, to give of their needs for something that's bigger than themselves. But I tell you, these 300 members of the Pride of Broken Arrow, I've never seen a group in all the years I've taught here that have risen to the occasion like these students did, um, particularly in their finals performance. It's, it's, it's something that will make the hair on my arm stand up for years and years to come. And being able to feel that 50 yards up at the top row of the stadium, um, where I could feel that from the performers, and I know they did as well. It's something I'll never forget. Smile Week for me has been my whole entire senior year. It has been focused on Smile Week. How can we raise the most money to send people to Make-A-Wish? How can we grant wishes? How can we raise money and have a blast and bring our community together? We've gone to other schools to see how they do their philanthropy, and then we just took off like little pieces of every other school and made it our own. Um, the cool thing about our Smile Week, though, is we don't have like a theme every year. We get our theme of Smile Week gets to be our, our kid. So the kid that we're gifted to every year, like we get to make this all about them. The Make-A-Wish coordinator called and asked if we would like to uh, have the Broken Arrow High School put on a party for Hope, and she is a party girl, so we said yes. <laughs> we have a like Make-A-Wish representative, her name is Erin, she's great. She basically communicates with the Make-A-Wish Foundation and looks for a child that is like the perfect fit for BA. So Hope was born three months early, and it was in the NICU that we learned that she has partial trisomy 13, and with that, she just has a little bit of differences. She's developmentally delayed. She has some trouble walking, poor muscle tones. She had trouble swallowing when she was born and breathing. And with that, she had a G-tube for a while to help her. But as she's grown, she's, her airway has opened up. Her swallowing has improved where she can just eat and drink and it's doing really well now, yeah. When we learned that Hope was going to go to Disney World, it was in January when we were matched with her and we just knew the whole time that we were raising money to send her to Disney World. Yeah, it was awesome going to Disney World. We, we were just super excited. Her favorite thing was we the Slinky, Slinky dog. dog ride at Toy Story Land. She wanted to go on it about 12 times, but but we stopped her after a couple. It's yes. a daredevil, so yeah. she likes, she rode a few other yeah. roller coasters and, and she just want to jump right back in line. Yeah. So. They gave us a fast pass basically for every ride. So, I mean, Make-A-Wish was wonderful. Give Kids the World was amazing. Disney, Universal Studios, all of those places just went out of their way to, to make her, her trip special. So Hope's a third grader and she's um, in the special ed class at Country Lane Intermediate. She has a wonderful teacher and two paras that are there to help her every day. Um, and then this year she got involved with the Special Olympics. So we're easing our way into it and um, She's also excited, we're excited to put her in the Penguin Project next year, so that'll be fun. Can't even explain it. I had never seen a picture of her, so getting to see her walk through the ice castle and getting to see her like get out of her car and be greeted by all the cheerleaders, it was like just the best feeling in the world. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5.
Welcome back. Tonight is a very special occasion for over 1,300 Broken Arrow High School graduates and their families. We want to remind everyone that this is a formal event and each graduate is the most important person in the stadium for their family and their friends. So we ask that the audience please refrain from making noise or interfering in any way with the ability of others to hear students' names, as they are called. We also ask that while you take pictures, please do not block the aisles or stand near the railing for too long. Because this is also a night for celebration, there will be time at the end of the ceremony for everyone to make all the noise you can make as the members of the class of 2022 throw their hats in the air and celebrate this special night together. With that said, back to some more AeroVision videos. I had been a part of the musicals for the past four years, so when it came to my senior year, I knew I had to be a part of it. It's always just the big ending to the year. It's a lot of fun, and you get a lot of experiences with a lot of new people. It was the best experience of my life, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Going from learning the lines to being able to walk out there and see so many amazing choices, just dying backstage when you see this person do something for the first time you never saw because that's just the beauty of live theater. My favorite part about Matilda was just getting new friends, people that I've already been friends with, just getting closer to them and watching all the little kids be really nervous at first, but then eventually they just shine on stage and they're all super proud of themselves. Having to wear a dress in front of like fourth graders all the way from 12th graders, I would walk around and be like, yes, queen, or <laughs> even Miss Ellis was like, slay. The backstage presence of everyone having my back, as soon as I got off stage, everyone came up and congratulated me on, you did so good, you did so good. Miss Ellis, she helped me through the entire process, getting specific mannerisms, getting the accent down, having the blocking, the lines, the songs, the physicality of all of it, she was there beside me the whole time. Being able to be around all my fellow like, actors and crew and everyone that I had learned to love as a family, I'm just never gonna forget all the stupid things we did and all the very professional things we did, so. <laughs> my favorite memory from Matilda was closing night. We stopped the band right before the final dance and called up our directors on stage, gave them flowers, and we just had a very heartfelt moment. I loved everybody involved and I'm gonna really miss them, but like, I loved every minute of it. One thing that I took away from Matilda was to rise to the challenge. Always, when an opportunity presents itself, I'm going to take it. I was so scared in the beginning to be Matilda, but as the process went on, I realized that it was for me and that I was meant to be there. If there's one thing I learned from Matilda, it's that you don't have to be in theater to learn to love theater. I've been in theater for basically my entire life, but I know some people who that was their first experience and I saw them fall in love with theater and it brought me joy and it brought them joy and that I wish that I could share it with everybody. So if you're wanting to think about trying out theater, do it, because it's rewarding and it's worth it. I'm Caleb Abercrombie and I signed to Northeastern State University. My name is Sterling Ramsey and I'll be attending William Penn University. I'm Kira Heald and I'm going to be going to Pitt State University. My name is Jordan Griggs and I'm attending Oklahoma City University. My name is Sheldon Karch and I'm going to go to Rochester State University in Claremore. I decided to go to Oklahoma City University because their campus is really pretty and I really like their coaches and their team. Going to Roger State, they have amazing people and they're all international. And then uh, the nursing program is phenomenal. So on my visit I met Coach Rutledge and we like had a really good conversation. I really like felt like I connected with him well and I thought that he would be a good fit for a coach for me. My parents helped in the recruiting process in the way that my father was actually running my Twitter. Uh, 
My mother was sending all the emails that I was sending my film out to everybody. My parents kept pushing me to make sure that I was playing the position that I was supposed to play. When I was selecting a college, my parents were really supportive and they told me I could go wherever I wanted and they would always be there to support me. What I miss the most about uh, Broken Arrow High School is coming out on Friday nights and playing your heart out, really. I mean, it was a different type of brothership that I don't believe that you'll get at college. I'm just excited to continue like having that like team environment that I can count on. As a VA athlete, I learned that you always have to work hard. You have to show up every day and show out. There's a lot of competition here, and you really have to step it up. The thing I'll miss the most about the high school is probably all the connections I've built with everyone, and especially the soccer team, because it's one big brotherhood. Just because they've really helped me develop me into the person that I am now. Next up on tonight's special graduation edition of The Pulse, we have a highlight from one of the annual biggest events of the school year for student activities, gym night. After that, AeroVision sat down with students from the Broken Arrows Early College High School Dual Credit Degree Program to find out more about their experiences and how they will graduate tonight with not only a degree from Broken Arrow High School, but also a two-year degree from TCC. Before we get back to the videos, we want to mention to everyone in attendance that has family and friends at home who can't make it, that this event is being live streamed by AeroVision on BA School's YouTube channel, as well as www.aerovision.tv. Be sure to spread the word. We also encourage everyone here to subscribe to the Broken Arrow School's YouTube channel, as well as our student-produced BAHS Pulse channel, so you can get notifications whenever we go live or drop a new video. Now is a great time to make sure you are following all the amazing BA School social media channels so you don't miss out on all the great graduation content that will follow, including pictures, highlight videos, and more. I would describe gym night as basically like a dance off. You have two teams. This year was heroes and then we had villains of course. Heroes took the win. But basically we practice really, really hard for several weeks um, and we all get the same amount of practice time to make sure it's all fair and then you get to see who the real winner is. Choreographing for gym night was stressful but also so fun. It was so fun being able to do it with some of my best friends. My favorite part about gym night was getting to perform a dance that I worked on for weeks in front of my friends and family and uh, getting the win definitely helped. I wanted to choreograph for gym night this year because I did it last year for Team Summer and it was the best experience I've ever had. My favorite part about gym night was being able to meet all the new people and being able to dance with them in front of a big crowd. Gym night impacted me by helping me, again, grow out of my comfort zone, become a better leader and be more creative. Getting the win at gym night was really cool. I mean, each side was just waiting and then you hear, Team Heroes, you won. Everyone's all jumping, everyone's happy. I think it is most definitely the coolest thing we have here at BA because, you know, some people like talk about prom season and homecoming season and all of this stuff, but we're the only school that can say like it's gym night season and it's definitely the best time of the year. My name is Haley Chambers, class of 2022, and my most memorable experience at ECHS is probably meeting a bunch of new people. I've met some of my best friends here, and I just loved meeting all the new people and how fun it was. I'm Lydia Colley, a 2022 graduate, and my favorite memory at early college high school was being able to be with my friends and work on homework and eat lunch in the hawk's nest. My name is Nicholas Morosco, uh, class of 2022. My most memorable experience a uh, part of the early college high school would be the times I got to spend with my friends in and outside of class, being able to uh, work together on different projects that might be harder for just one person. Hi, I'm Kara Thomas, and I'm an early college graduate of 2022, and I've been here since I was a sophomore. 
My plans for the future are is to go to Howard University and become a nurse and then eventually go to a, get my master's degree in nursing and become a midwife and own my own birthing center. Hi, my name is Evie Schuyler and I'm a early college high school graduate of 2022 and a participant in the dual credit to college degree program. I'm planning to um, use my degree and transfer the credits to TU and get a physics degree. Hi, I'm April Van Jackson. I'm in the class of 2022. For my future, since I did the dual credit program, I want to get ahead in my medical and go into physical therapy at Pitt State. Hi, my name is Tammy Nguyen. I'm a class of 22 graduate, um, and my most memorable experience from early college high school is being able to go to TCC classes with my peers. We get the opportunity to go to the TCC campus during the summers. Hi, my name is Michelle Oswald. I'm class of 2022 uh, here at ECHS, and my most memorable memory uh, has to be doing study groups with the people that I've done this program with for the last two years, just getting to hang out with them and make memories and get all of this work done. I'm Grace Von Eschen and I'm class of 2022. My most memorable experience here at ECHS was definitely the summer classes and hanging out afterwards or hanging out between classes. After graduation, I plan to go to the University of Tulsa on a pre-med track and hopefully become a doctor in the Tulsa area. My future plans are to work as an environmental engineer and by doing that I want to pursue a chemical engineering degree at University of Tulsa. My future plans after graduation will be to uh, go to OSU and uh, learn about veterinary medicine. After high school I'm going to be attending John Brown University in the fall um, to get my biochemistry degree. My plans this fall is to go to OU and to major in piano performance. My future plans, um, I'm really excited. I'll be interning at my church for worship this summer and then going to Ozark Christian College uh, to major in music and worship. My most memorable experience from early college high school is getting to know a group of people and staying with them for three years and building that friendship with them. My mem most memorable experience while being here is probably the commitment and the bond between my other classmates and just sticking it out with them until the end. My most memorable experience was um, getting to interact with my classmates and, and establishing a bond with them so I felt like I could like talk to them about homework or anything else because we were together for so long. This was a stepping stone towards my future. Um, it's the initiative that matters and like even though when I joined this program I didn't know what I wanted to do, I knew that it would push me to the point where I would make the decision for myself and and it did so with all the experience that I've gained from the college courses that I've taken it's, it's very like dear to me and I now can take it on uh, into the future and apply that to whatever I might um, come across. Um, what I'm taking away most from this experience is definitely work ethic. Um, I've learned how to put my best foot forward and time managed through my college classes. So I definitely think that's going to benefit me in the future. What I'm taking away from this experience um, currently is never give up, is to keep going because many times I wanted to quit during this experience, but it made me more resilient and I, I learned a lot from that. I'm taking away most from this experience is some things you have to do yourself and you have to keep your own pace in order to stay on task with things and that's inside school and outside school. What I'm going to take most away from this experience is probably learning time management skills and I think this will be really beneficial for the future. What I'm going to take away most from this experience is definitely college credits. It's been amazing being able to go into college with 32 years done and most of my gen eds done so now I just have to take my basic core classes for my major, which is really amazing. A huge takeaway um, from this program would just be that I've, I've learned how to push myself harder, uh, but also know my limits. Um, that line of, okay, I can, I can do a little more, but also not pushing myself to the point of exertion. Um, of just, you know, driving through all of the work, but knowing that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and that this is going to be so worth it at the end.
We're back, and it's almost time to celebrate the class of 2022. Next up on the show, it's time to celebrate our senior superlatives with this awesome highlight video. Also, a quick reminder, the 2022 BAHS yearbook is out, and if you haven't gotten yours yet, it's not too late. Go to Remain 106 or www.joshsons.com to purchase your yearbook before they are all gone. I got this from Walmart. I got this from Old Navy. My shoes are from Target. Hey, Alexis. Oh, hey, Abby. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Elon Musk, I'm coming for you. I'm gonna buy Twitter from you, man. 44 billion. That's pretty average. To be or not to be, that is the question. Forget about keeping up with Kardashians, more like keeping up with Kiana. Hey, how do you catch a jellyfish? You put peanut butter on the pole. Why did the coach go to the bank? <laughs> to get his quarterback. <laughs> Hold on, my agent's calling. Hold up, you know I charge $1,500 an hour, right? Is my presence not good enough? No. <sighs> English hammer throwing champion, 1969. Sarah, I'm so sad that we're graduating. I can't believe it. Do you need a hug? Yeah. Oh, you wanted me to be at graduation? Sorry, I can't make it. I gotta go to work. Oh, you need a pencil? 
I don't have one. You can make every day a great day. This is where I keep my pencils. This is where I keep my gel pens. And this is my laptop case. I just like to keep it simple and neat. Got a big one. I'm driving, right? Bro, how'd you get my keys? <laughs> Scooter has nothing on me. It's okay, guys. I made it. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. Congratulations, Madam President. Oh, did you say something? It's okay. You can cry on this shoulder, just not this one. When I run across that stage, best believe it's not the last time you'll see me. <laughs> hey guys, I'm with my wait, girl. Wait, wait, I'm not even in that. Like, can we redo that? Oh, yeah, 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 a little yeah. bit. Hey guys, I'm with my hey. girl Carrington. All right, can I have my phone back now? Yeah, I'll try to get it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm so over this. Oh, my bad photos are like, they were really bad at first, but now they're kind of good, and I had to set up a whole graduation announcement with these pictures, and I had to make sure the filters, wait. Is, is that graduation? You're saying graduation's right now? Oh my god. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed the special graduation edition of The Pulse. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the Aerovision student produced content. Jasmine, it's hard to believe that the class of 2022 is about to walk across that stage, but the moment is almost here. Congrats to all of the class of 2022, but especially our Aerovision classmates. We are going to miss all of you a ton. We are now just a little more than five minutes away from the start of the 114th commencement ceremony for Broken Arrow High School. For Ethan and especially all the seniors in the Aerovision program, thanks for letting us tell your stories and up keep you updated on the news here at Broken Arrow High School. Thanks for watching. Now on to the Broken Arrow High School Class of 2022 graduation ceremony.
Good evening and welcome to Broken Arrow Memorial Stadium. I'm Crystal Barber, Broken Arrow High School principal, and on behalf of all of us here at Broken Arrow Public Schools, I'd like to welcome you to the 114th commencement ceremony for Broken Arrow High School. Our vision is empowering our diverse student body to be college, career, and life ready. Tonight is a very special occasion for our students and their families, one that we hope they will cherish for the rest of their lives. This is a formal event as we celebrate 1,300 graduates this evening. Each of these is the most important person in the stadium to their families and friends. So we ask that the audience please refrain from making noise or interfering in any way with the ability of others to hear students' names as they are called. Because this is also a night for celebration, we have provided a time at the end of the ceremony for you to make all the noise you can make as the members of the class of 2022 throw their hats in the air and celebrate this special night together. Thank you for doing your best to help us celebrate our students with dignity and class. Once again, welcome. It is a great night to be a Tiger and we are so glad you are here. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Crystal Barber, principal of Broken Arrow High School. On behalf of the Board of Education and the faculty of Broken Arrow High School, I'd like to welcome you to the 114th annual Broken Arrow High School commencement ceremony. Please rise to welcome the graduates of the class of 2022.
mic check. There we go. Please continue standing as our colors are presented by members of our Broken Arrow High School JROTC and remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. Please advance and present the colors. Thank you. Please be seated. Tonight, we wish to honor those of you who have served in our country's armed forces, are currently serving, or have enlisted and will soon be serving. As our medley of service anthems play, please stand when you hear your service branches song. We salute you for your dedication and service.
Tonight, we also have the honor of showing a special video message to one of our 2022 graduates. Mr. Walter Gibbs retired from the U.S. Army after serving 21 years on active duty. Because of his recent deployment to Saudi Arabia as Director of Operations for Foreign Military Sale, he could not celebrate his daughter's commencement with us in person this evening. Instead, he recorded and sent this video message to celebrate his daughter, 2022 graduate, Sydney Gibbs. Hi, my name is Walter Gibbs. I'm coming live from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. I want to say congratulations to the class of 2022, especially my daughter, Sydney Gibbs. I love and miss you so much. I know I've missed a lot of events in your life due to my military career and what I do as a civilian, but I wasn't going to miss this. Thank you to the Broken Arrow Administration for allowing me to do this. Go Tigers! At this time, we will observe a tradition that has been part of the commencements of our proud school since its early days. Bells play a large role in the life of most schools, signaling the beginning and the end of the school day. The ringing of a bell also notes an occasion of particular significance or importance. As we often do, therefore, we choose to reach into our past and resurrect those symbols and sounds which provide inspiration in the past helped us make us who we are and have assisted in bringing us to this evening. The old bell of historic Broken Arrow High School is with us tonight and we call forth Trent Martin and Hope Wells of the class of 2022 to ring the bell for blessings and good fortune for our senior class. English poet John Donne once asked, for who doth the bell toll Tonight, seniors, the answer is clear. It tolls for thee. And now for an old tradition, please rise for the playing of our school's alma mater. You may be seated afterwards. Tonight, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing and recognizing our guests joining me on the platform. Please stand as your name is called. I ask that the audience please hold their applause until everybody has been introduced. Mr. Chuck Perry, Superintendent of Schools. Dr. Carla Dias, Deputy, Deputy Superintendent. Mr. Larry Shackelford, Associate Superintendent. Mr. Steve Dunn, Chief Student Engagement and Public Relations Officer. Mr. Steve Allen, Board of, Board of Education President. Mr. Jerry Didden, Board of Education Vice President. Mr. John Cockrell, Board of Education Deputy Clerk. Ms. Brandy Roulette, Board of Education Clerk. Ms. Debbie Taylor, Board of Education Member. Ms. Beth Gilbert, Gilbert Bo Broken Arrow Freshman Academy Principal. Ms. Shannon Turner, Broken Arrow Options Academy Principal. Mr. Andy Rice, Broken Arrow High School Associate Principal. Mr. Timothy Farlow, Senior Class President. Ms. Braley Brigham, Student Council President. Ms. Lydia McNally, Representative of the Class of Distinction. Mr. Jason Jadamski, Director of Vanguard Academy. Mr. Brandon Chitty, 
Director of Virtual Programs and Instructional Technology. Ms. Julie Sunderland, Broken Arrow Early College High School Principal. Mr. Chris Bailey and Ms. Brenda Lewis, Broken Arrow High School Teachers of the Year. And Ms. Kelsey Arnold, District Teacher of the Year. And joining us on the field this evening is Ms. Natalie Enough, Chief Financial Officer. Mr. Ru Rusty Stecker, Chief Human Resources Officer. Ms. Roslyn Van Jackson, Chief Support Services Officer. Mr. Ashley Bowser, Chief ne Technology Officer. Ms. Sharon James, Executive Director of Secondary Instruction. And Ms. Daylene Thornton, Executive Director of Special Education. Please join me in giving these individuals a round of applause for their tireless support of Broken Arrow Public Schools. Thank you, you may be seated. Tonight, I also have the honor of introducing Mr. Chuck Perry, Superintendent of Broken Arrow Public Schools. As a 1987 Broken Arrow graduate, along with his wife, Monica, they were the first class to attend the new high school for both their junior and senior years. Other than when he was obtaining his undergraduate degree from the University of Tulsa, he has lived his entire life in this wonderful city. He earned a Master's of Education degree from Northeastern State University at the BA campus, which has brought him to where he is today. Engaging students, both in and out of the classroom, has always been his passion. During his tenure as associate superintendent, he, along with his team, helped bring the JROTC program to Broken Arrow High School in 2015. This program has been a perfect fit because BA is a community who honors those who serve in the military. In addition, he has spearheaded the growth of the leadership program at the high school from approximately 50 students to over 250 today. This has made it one of the most popular electives on our campus. It is not unusual to have more than 1,000 students at an event because they feel connected to their school. Mr. Perry recognizes that these types of engagement opportunities help build school culture to an even greater level. Please welcome an educational mentor, lifelong educator, and a friend, Mr. Perry, to the platform. Mr. Perry. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I'm so honored to be here tonight. Graduation, without a doubt, is my favorite night of the year. It is so exciting to be a part of. I want to thank all the parents, grandparents, family members, and friends who came out tonight to support these young men and women as they graduate. My love for Broken Arrow was started at a very young age. My parents both graduated from BA in 1950, my brother in 70, my sister in 75, and as Ms. Barber said, my wife and I did in 1987. Um, my parents were very intentional about raising their kids in BA because they wanted us all to graduate as Broken Arrow Tigers. There are two pictures that sit in my office that I am very, very proud of. I am a BA, BA lifer. If you look at the, the screen above me, the little boy with the blonde hair in the middle is me. That was back in 1974 on my first day of kindergarten at, at Oak Crest Elementary. There we go, some Oak Crest grads. Went on to Sequoia, South Intermediate, and, and of course the high school. Um, fast forward 13 years from that day to May 1987, and the second picture up there is me receiving my diploma on a May night from former beloved superintendent, Dr. Clarence Oliver. So yes, Dr. Oliver, let's give him a round of applause for his impact on BA. 
There are so many great memories that I look back on as a BA grad, so many friends, um, faces, some that I still keep in touch with today, and I hope you students feel the same way uh, about BA when you reach 53 years old like I do. Um, Tonight, graduates, I have asked Mr. Jason Jadamski to speak to you. Mr. Jadamski is the director of the Vanguard Academy and is the former director of student life and activities here at this high school. He was the catalyst behind the growth of the leadership program, and he is actually the one who started the jungle student section eight years ago that is now a part of the culture of this BA campus. His impact on BA has been massive, and you are getting ready to see why. He is asked to travel the entire country to speak to high schools and their, their student body. With that, Mr. Jadamski, I would like it you do, to come up and speak to the graduates of 2022. Thank you. I can say you, man. Awesome. Hey, about a year ago, I opened my phone and tapped the Facebook app. Now, the programmers at Facebook have been really good about sending people notifications every single day so you engage with Facebook. Now, I gotta be honest, there's one part of that notification uh, process that I really appreciate, and that's the birthday notification. Every single day, I get a list of people that I'm friends with whose birthday it is. That makes it really easy for me to be intentional, to send them a message and say happy birthday. Sometimes that birthday list is really big. It's like eight, 10 people. Sometimes it's really small. It's just two or three people. The day I'm talking about, I remember my list being pretty big. It was about eight or nine people. Now, like most middle-aged people in the stadium tonight, my Facebook friend list is full of people from every chapter of my life. I have people from my elementary school, Bovers Elementary. I have people from my 40 years playing and coaching soccer as friends. I have people from my college, Northeastern State, as friends. I have people from my six years living in Arkansas with my wife and kids, and I have friends from my 23 years in education. As I looked at that uh, Facebook friend birthday list, I started to like, notice a uh, like little internal dialogue. The first person was a friend of mine from my elementary school, and when I saw his name, I immediately thought, dude, that guy has a heart of gold. He would do anything for anybody. Second person on my list was a girl I knew in college. When I saw her name, I was like, dude, that girl is all about the money, man. All she does is post stuff about her house and cars, vacations, meals, all that kind of stuff. Third person was somebody I knew in the education world, probably known her about 15 years. When I saw her name, I was like, man, that lady's an energy giver. Every time she sees somebody, she's trying to give energy to them and help them become a better version of themselves. I was about five or six people into that list, and all of a sudden, I noticed what was going on. Every time I read a name, I had a gut reaction to that person. And then I thought, man, if I'm having a gut reaction when I read somebody's name, that also means that when people read my name, they have a gut reaction too. And I thought, man, when my friends read Jason Jadamski on the birthday list, what is their gut reaction? I mean, I don't know if they say I'm nice or cool or friendly or energetic or confident or overconfident or arrogant. Not sure. I know this. That gut reaction that happens in my friends, it's going to happen because of how I live and how I treat people and if I contribute to the world and not take from the world. I hope my friends, when they see my name, they say, I'm happy that guy's in my life. Hey, class of 2022, I need your help real, real fast. I want to know this. How many people, how many people, how many of y'all know what you want to be in the world? Raise your hand. You might be a teacher, engineer, plumber, electrician. If you know what it is, raise it high so people can see it. Some of y'all are like, dude, I don't know what I want to do, but I'm raising my hand because my parents are here. I got you. Thanks. You can put your hand down. 
that question, what do you want to be, my guess is people have asked you that a lot in the last year, and probably more so in the last six months than all of your life combined. Actually, just this last Thursday, before school, I was walking out of this varsity training center, and I ran into one of your graduates that's in the class with you tonight. His name's Jacob Shotton. And I saw Jacob, and Jacob and I know each other from the soccer world. And I stopped, I was like, Jacob, how you doing? He was like, good, how are you? I said, good, man. I said, hey, what are you doing next? What are you going to be? Jacob goes, I'm going to St. Louis University. I'm going to study aeronautics. I want to be a commercial pilot. I was like, dude, that's awesome. Great to see you. Congratulations. He said, see you. We walked away. And I thought about that. I had like this instinct. Hey, Jacob, what are you going to be? That's what I asked him. I feel like anybody your age, about to graduate, 18 to 20, that's what we ask him. What are you going to be? But I think that's the wrong question to ask. I think the question we should ask is, who do you want to be in the world? When I think about my birthday list, what comes to mind is a scoreboard, kind of like the one behind me. Everybody has a scoreboard they're using in life. The question you need to answer is, do you want a scoreboard that measures the what or the who? Look, all the time in life we get caught up in the what, what kind of job you're going to get, what kind of house you're going to build, what kind of car you're going to buy. But I think the who has to be more important than the what. On social media all the time, yes, check this out. People on average spend two and a half hours a day on social media. What's primarily the content you see on social media? It's going to be the what. If you get on Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all this other stuff, people are going to talk about their what, their job, their vacation, all these other things. A couple years ago, my wife and I took our kids on a vacation. It was a road trip. Went to South Carolina and Yellowstone National Park. We were about four days into Yellowstone National Park. And we went up by Lake Yellowstone. It was kind of this little lookout area. We pulled up in our car. We were the only ones there. We got out, just kind of absorbed nature for a minute. All you could hear was the wind and the trees blowing. There were some birds flying. You could see lake. It was gorgeous. After about two minutes, this car pulled up. Two young ladies got out. Now, when I say young ladies, I'm going to say these two young ladies were probably between 18 and 20 years old. And as soon as they hopped out of the car, one of the girls had her phone. The other girl ran over by the overlook place, overlooking the lake. And she started doing all these poses, putting her leg out and her hands up and her friends snapping photos. And they kind of gathered together and you could tell they were working on filters and trying to figure out the best picture. Her friend went back over there and started doing poses. I was watching them like, what is going on, man? They did that for about 20 minutes. And we left. We got in our car and left. They were still taking pictures when we left. And I thought, man, they were so focused on the what. All they wanted to do was put those pictures out into social media so people were like, oh my gosh, they're on the best vacation ever. Those ladies were focused on the what, but I think that's the wrong scoreboard. That scoreboard is a finite scoreboard. All it is is a goal line. You want to get a job or a car or a house or a vacation. And once you cross that, that, that goal line, you add points to your scoreboard. But here's the thing. Those two girls, they could score as many of those points as they want, but they're never going to win because they've made their what more valuable than their who. I'm going to tell you the scoreboard I think is important. It's a scoreboard of a person with an infinite mindset. Let me tell you what that means. To me, that means an infinite mindset is we're going to measure the points on the board. It's all going to be about who can make the biggest impact on as many people in the world as possible. That scoreboard is focused on me leaving a legacy for my children and my children's children. To me, that scoreboard is all about me growing as much as I can as a person, not collecting a bunch of stuff, items I can put in my house. Class of 2022, I want to pause for a second. I want you to not think about what you're going to be in the world, but I want you to think about who you're going to be in the world. You have choices to make. You could choose to be a person that values impact over income. That means you're going to pick a job that makes the world a better place to live, work, play, and go to school instead of picking a job over to something that's going to make your wallet a little fatter. You can choose to value experiences over items. That means when it's Christmas and birthday and things like that, you say, man, I don't want presents. I want to go do something. Let's go have an experience together. You can choose to be a person that chooses time with people over time with a device. When you have a choice, play a game with your family, hang out with your friends, instead of being disconnected on a device. 
you can choose when you walk in into a room to give it energy, or you can choose to give a room energy when you leave the room. If you want to give a room energy when you walk in, you walk in, shake hands, say hi to people, introduce yourself, look them in the eye, have a conversation. That's how you give energy to a room. As you go out into the world, make sure your who is more important than your what. Class of 2022, I want to tell you congratulations. Go out into the world and be the best version of yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Perry, Mr. Jajamski. Incredible words of encouragement. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome Senior Class President Timothy Farlow to the platform to address the senior class. Welcome, Mr. Farlow. Thank you, Ms. Barbara. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome this. Oh, wrong spot. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Barber. What's up, BA? It is my honor and privilege to address everyone today as I stand here before you as your 2022 senior class president. I reflect on the legacy that our graduating class is leaving behind for many generations to come. Not only have we recited the Tiger Creed, we have also taken it to heart and made it a part of our lives forever. As we are set to graduate, we can now say that we have truly defined and exemplified what it means to be a Broken Arrow Tiger. Tigers are tenacious. Our tenacity is evident tonight by just being a part of this graduation ceremony. Whatever obstacles we individually faced, whether personal or educational, we marched on and prevailed. Our school district made it a part of their mission to provide us with dynamic opportunities to be successful. Our family, Friends, loved ones, and teachers have been with us all along the way, providing the love and support that we needed to accomplish our goals. In the words of Christopher Robin, promise me you'll always remember that you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Tigers have integrity. We act with integrity because it was first modeled to us in the classroom by our teachers and trusted adults in our lives. We learned that integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is looking. We were raised to choose the correct path over the most convenient one. Courage, our courage to behave with integrity has allowed us to build lifelong friendships by showing others our true character. Tigers show gratitude. We are very fortunate to be ed educated by Broken Arrow Public Schools. Our instructors took the initiative to build relationships with us they sacrificed their personal time and money investing in our achievements. They taught us with passion and inspired us to be our very best. The teachers left each one of us with a piece of their heart. Our administrators took on the challenge to lead us by example every day. We were motivated to tackle our responsibilities and disciplined if needed. Their supervision provided us with a safe place to pursue our academic goals. We enjoyed positive school culture due to their dedication to promote community. The leadership team held to the belief that all students are learners who can be college or career ready. Our counselors established a connection with our student body, and they were the best listeners. They exhibited incredible patience without judgment. Their compassion made us feel comfortable, reaching out to them for guidance for academic, emotional, and social concerns. Their advice ensured that we were ready for life after high school. Our school district staff was a vital part of our success. They got us to school on time where they fed us breakfast and lunch. We attended a clean and well-maintained facility with excellent technology. If we were sick, we were provided health care. And we didn't have to worry about important paperwork because it was all handled behind the scenes. At the end of the day, we were all delivered safely back to our families. We are thankful that Broken Arrow schools have poured into, we are thankful for everything that Broken Arrow schools have poured into us. After all, BA, this is home, the place where opportunity lives. Tigers have high expectations for themselves and others. We strive to be our best selves on the field and in the classroom. We go beyond ordinary expectations to earn our stripes. However, don't let your quest for excellence limit you. 
Let go of your attempts to be perfect and always be your biggest fan. Jump out there and try something new. What if it all works out better than you ever expected? What if the journey and the hardships were worth it in the end? What if you become stronger than you ever thought possible inside and out? Just do it, BA. Tigers are respectful. We show others with the utmost respect through our actions and words. And we realize that our diversity enriches us and we honor those differences. Furthermore, we must also learn to respect ourselves. Find out exactly who you are and become comfortable in your own skin. Take care of your mind, body, and soul, and let your internal talk be kind. Forgive yourself as many times as it takes. Remember to give yourself some of the same grace that you give others. And in times of trouble, don't be afraid to ask others for the same help that you need. Above all, I pray that life will shower you with blessings and the tough times will go easy on you. Well, I guess it's about time for this Farlow to be on the go. I would like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for every moment that I served as your 2022 senior class president. This opportunity has truly meant the world to me and it will stay with me for the rest of my life. I will never forget the experiences that we shared and the memories that we made. Once a broken arrow tiger, always a broken arrow tiger. Go BA! Go BA! Go BA! Go BA! Let's go, Tigers. Thank you, Timmy. Very good job. Our next speaker this evening is Student Council President Braley Brigham, who has some thoughts to share with our graduating seniors. Welcome, Ms. Brigham. Hello, class of 2022, parents, loved ones, and Broken Arrow staff and faculty. My name is Braley Brigham, and I'm the Broken Arrow Student Council President for the class of 2022. It is my honor to be on this stage tonight in front of all of my classmates. Congratulations, guys, we made it. Our years together in Broken Arrow District have been nothing short of amazing. Tonight, I would like to take you down a short trip down memory lane by talking about Broken Arrow throughout the years. When looking back to the past, I think of all the wonderful memories of growing up in Broken Arrow. As a kid in BA, there was nothing like snow days and being able to go play outside in the snow for hours on end with your friends. Or even as a high schooler, there was nothing better than being at the Tiger Memorial Stadium, cheering on our football team while being dressed in the craziest outfits imaginable. While being at football games, there's such an amazing atmosphere created by our students which is why we were named the most spirited school in the nation. Not only do our students create such a positive atmosphere, but also an amazing culture. While the students play a big role, our staff and faculty also make the campus a more enjoyable place. Our schools throughout the district prioritize not only the students' education, but also their enjoyment while being at school. Including events such as Super Kids Day in elementary, eighth grade day in middle school, freshman fest at BAFA, and all the unique events Broken Arrow High School has to offer. In our town, there was no shortage of activities participated in. From youth sports to fine arts, everyone could be involved. Presently, Broken Arrow is flourishing. Founded as a small town in 1902, the city has grown indefinitely. With a population of roughly 113,000 people, we are blessed to live in such a supportive and involved community. It is easy to see the supportive in com community just drive down 71st and Lynn Lane. Looking to the future, I look forward to seeing all my classmates and graduates continue the growth and the leadership of the Broken Arrow community. Who knows, you might be sitting next to the future mayor of Broken Arrow. 
I asked you to look around at the familiar faces of 2022. Without the support of each other, none of us would be here today. I would like to start by thanking the Broken Arrow Public Schools District for providing a one-of-a-kind experience for their students. I would like to thank all of the staff and faculty for making that experience possible. I would like to thank the Student Activities Program uh, and the wonderful, oh my gosh, <laughs> and the wonderful leadership program won by Christian Wellborn, Carolyn Harger, Derek Drake, and Alex Cochran. My next thank you is a very special one. Thank you to the Student, Cal Pro student Council Program. This program has shaped me into the person I am today by creating amazing friendships and memories. Thank you to my family, especially my parents and grandparents, for holding me to high standards and pushing me through the tough times. Without you, I would not be walking across the stage today. Last but not least, I would like to thank my friends in the Broken Arrow, Broken Arrow graduating class of 2022. It is my honor and privilege to represent you all tonight. As we continue through the evening, I ask you to not look at the ceremony as the end of something, but as the beginning of a new chapter of our lives. Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Thank you. Thank you, Braley. Academics are the central reason that all schools exist, and tonight we wish to honor our academic program. At this time, we would like to recognize all those who work with our students at Broken Arrow High School. We recognize at this level that we have the opportunity to reap the fruit of the collective efforts that have been planted since the very beginning of our students' educational careers. First, I'd like to ask that our high school department leads and the members of our Broken Arrow High School faculty staff stand and remain standing at this time. And remain standing. Next, I'll ask that all Broken Arrow Public Schools faculty and staff stand to include all pre-K through 12 educators. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for your diligence and dedication to the class of 2022. You may be seated if you have not already. Our class of distinction represents those students whose grade point averages place them in the top 3% of the senior class. Each year, a representative from that group addresses our graduates at commencement. Please join me then in welcoming to the platform Lydia McNally, representing our 2022 class of distinction. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Lydia McNally. I am so absolutely honored to be speaking to you all tonight. And in typical graduation speech fashion, I have a few people I need to thank quickly. But I promise to do it quickly, so do me a favor. Try not to doze off. First off, I have to thank my family. Thank you so much for your constant support and encouragement, as well as all the small things you did, like you know, pay for my car and my house and my clothes and my food, you know, it's the little stuff that counts, so thank you guys. Thank you so much to the class of distinction for choosing me to write and present this speech today and a group of people who never let anyone else help with the group project. You chose me to do this, and I hope to make you proud, but if I don't, take a deep breath, try and remember this is not for a grade. Lastly, and most importantly, I need to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, not only for my salvation and the breath in my lungs and the fact that I'm standing here today, but also I need to thank him for giving my teachers the strength to deal with me each and every day. If it's not obvious already, I can be a lot, so I know the Lord is at work in that circumstance. You know, in high school, it's seen as cool to pretend you don't care about your teachers or your grades or your school, but clearly my shot at being cool was gone a long time ago. So I'm just going to be honest here today. I loved high school, and I loved going to high school here. I mean, we have the world's best student section, fantastic athletic and fine arts programs. I got to be a part of the grandest band in all the land, 
with our fourth Grand National Championship to prove it. Highest score ever recorded. Sorry, had to flex that a little bit. Our cafeteria workers, seriously the most joyful and just radiantly kind people ever, not to mention they memorized my lunch order, really meant a lot to me. Our janitorial staff, so hardworking and kind. We, we appreciate you all so much. And my teachers, I, I just love you all. There's not enough time to properly thank you. Thank you for supporting me and encouraging me, not only as an academic, but more importantly, as a person. You were patient with me when I would argue with you, which was a lot. Um, you guys were just so, so amazing. You taught me that you can love learning, which I had been told was impossible. You also taught me that due dates, you're not just kidding about those. If you don't turn stuff in on time, they will give you a zero. <laughs> really took me a long time to grasp that, but I'm here. Thank Jesus for that one again. And you know, high school wasn't perfect, right? There's the early mornings, the insane parking lot, the people who somehow thought it was okay to hug in the middle of a crowded hallway. Don't understand that logic, I really don't. I mean, there were days when high school wasn't easy, when maybe I wasn't thrilled to be here, but there is absolutely nowhere else I would have wanted to spend my last four years. I loved it here. And we can spend all night talking about the great memories we have or how sad it is that this is our last chance to just be kids in high school, but honestly, what's the point? We're kind of graduating, like, right now. We gotta face what's next, and that's our future. And I hate that that has become such a scary term to us. I mean, if we're honest, this grand idea of the future is pretty terrifying. We have all these expectations we feel like we need to meet, all these achievements we need to get, and honestly, we feel like we need to become these wildly successful people just to avoid being seen as a failure. And that's overwhelming, to have all these lofty, faraway goals that we don't even know how to start approaching. So I would like to offer you some advice today about the future. And don't worry, my inexperienced 18-year-old self is not coming up with this advice. I plagiarized it. From all the wonderful mentors in my life who helped prepare me for the future. So first off, you know, you don't need to know exactly where you want to work or exactly where you want to be in five years or where you want to move after retirement. To quote the award-winning film Frozen 2, in the words of Princess Anna, just do the next right thing. If you don't know what you want to be when you grow up yet, cool, me neither. All we have to worry about is making the next good decision. I mean, submit your application to that program you're interested in, take some summer classes, get in an internship, call your grandma, take small steps that will get you one step closer to your future and to who you want to be. After all, in the wise words of Dr. Emmett Brown from Back to the Future, your future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one. Now to my fellow graduates, I have one final thing I want to leave you with, and it is this. I am not going to peak in high school, and neither are you. You've been given absolutely everything you need to go out and live the life you've always dreamed. If you will be consistent and faithful to making the next right decision, to persevering and working hard and having a little bit of fun every once in a while, life is going to be faithful to reward you with great things. I am so honored to have gone to high school with all of you, and I cannot wait to see what the future has for us in this next season of our lives. Thank you all for the best four years of my life. Well, the best four years of my life until now, because I am confident that my best days are still ahead of me, and so are yours. Thank you all, God bless you, and let's graduate! <laughs> Let's give it one more round of applause for our student speakers this evening. They did an incredible job.
I have to say this, and I know our special education teachers and our speech language pathologists understand this, but it messes with your brain a little bit when you hear your own voice delayed a little bit. So if we have stumbled over our words this evening, let's blame it on the mic, okay? All right, Mr. Perry, members of the Board of Education, faculty, graduates, and honored guests, it's a great privilege to stand before you tonight and add my congratulations to those which you have already received. And welcome to the last speech of the evening. And I have good news for you tonight. It's only 45 minutes long, so just hang on. So we'll be done here about 847. Just kidding. The truth of the matter is there really isn't much more to say after we've heard from Mr. Perry, Mr. Jadamski, and our student speakers. I love that our student speakers mention the fact that it takes an entire village to bring our graduates to this evening. They mentioned our teachers, counselors, administrators, janitorial staff, child nutrition, bus drivers, all of those people coming together to help our students graduate. Timmy spoke about the Tiger Creed and the fact that he has seen those attributes in all of you, class of 2022. Braley and Mr. Perry talked about what an extraordinary community we have in Broken Arrow. Lydia reminded us to make the next best decision, and JJ taught us that who you are is more important than what you are. Mr. Rice and I were talking the other day about what we could say to you tonight, and the Tiger Creek came up again. T class of 2022, tonight is one of the last opportunities we have to say that collectively as the class of 2022. You see, in the throes of life, it's important that you have some phraseology. I learned that word from Miss Gilbert. Where is Miss Gilbert taught me the word phraseology. You have to hide some of those words, some of that self-talk in your heart so you can refer to it when you need it. And that's exactly what the Tiger Creed is. And this is who we are, not what we are, but who we are. So just out of curiosity all over the stadium, who has the Tiger Creed memorized? Raise your hand. Class of 2022, come on. Okay. So good news. I think we have it on the screen tonight. Mr. Rice, would you join me at the podium? And let's say the Tiger Creed together. Here we go. I am a tiger. I am tenacious in pursuit of my goals. I act with integrity and show gratitude in my daily life. I have high expectations for myself and others. And I show respect through my actions and words. I am a tiger. And now, the part of the program on which I know you have all been waiting. Mr. Perry, members of the Board of Education, distinguished guests, faculty, family, and friends, as principal of Broken Arrow High School, it is my honor to present to you the graduating class of 2022. On behalf of our faculty and staff, I hereby certify that each senior before you this evening has completed the requirements established for a high school diploma by the State of Oklahoma and the Broken Arrow Board of Education. We will at this time begin the presentation to our seniors with members of the high school faculty announcing names and Mr. Perry, Associate Principal Andy Rice, members of the Board of Education and district officials presenting to our graduates. We ask that members of our audience help us with our ceremony by observing proper decorum during this time. We ask also that items or sounds which could be distracting be held until the end of the commencement ceremony. This will ensure that all students' names are heard as they cross the stage. Our first graduates this evening are our three student speakers. Timothy Charles Farlow. Braley Joanne 
Brigham in. Lydia Claire McNally. Ms. Julie Sunderland, a Broken Arrow graduate herself, has been a part of the Broken Arrow Public Schools for 15 years as a teacher, assistant principal, and now serves as the principal of Early College High School. Please welcome to the podium Ms. Julie Sunderland to present the diplomas to the TCC cohort of 2022. Students, if you are in that program, program please make, make your way to the stage. Several years ago, under district leadership, Broken Arrow Public Schools began a partnership with Tulsa Community College and Northeastern State University called the Dual Credit to College Degree Program. The students participating in this rigorous program of study are only the third class of Broken Arrow graduates to simultaneously earn their high school diplomas while completing work on their two-year college associate's degree. This year, we have 17 students who are receiving not only their high school diploma, but also their associate's degree from Tulsa Community College. Tonight, we celebrate their tremendous achievement with them and wish them continued success as they move forward in the future. These students are... Jared Dalton Wiley, <laughs> Nicholas Charles Morosco, Kaylin Elaine Booker, Aiden Ballard, Evelyn Atkinson, Evelyn Schuyler. Kira Lachelle Thomas, Haley Autumn Chambers, April Ann Van Jackson, Michelle Dawn Oswald, Lydia Grace Colley, Jasmine Marie Sheriffy. Layla Michelle Harvey, Tyla Highbeck, Tammy M. Wynn, Chansey Koo, Grace Rose Von Eschen, Kyle Matthew Bergwall. <laughs> Leah Cruz. Asad Nayer. Kaya Patel. Keegan William Gellner, Taylor James Lee Bertolot, Miguel Ramon Ortega, Wyatt Scott Page, Brianna Nicole. 
Beamer. Brianna Michelle Roach. <laughs> Dakota Austin Kelly Holiday. Jasmine Marie Laraway. And Camden Bryce Hendricks. Drake Allen Taylor. Lainey Willits. Riley Lamont Bacon. Giovanni Hernandez. Sky Destinies Carter. Latricia Charmaine Penny. Elise Martin. Abigail Gray. Dante Finch. Jada Ember Rose Warren. Abigail Day. Trent Martin. Mallory Grace Thornton. Hope Wells. Alexis Alabi. Christopher Berger. Madeline Grace Stanifer. Braden Russell Bivens. Sarah Renee Shaw. Gabriella De Silva. Addison Paige Esselton. Jessica Nicole Barnes. Alexis Renee Utley. Chloe Anna Day. Chloe Love Saunders. Travis Allen Cowles. Rena Shawarib. Bo Offit. Haley Lee Pearl Epperson. Justin Scott Chesser. Madison Brooke Franklin. Jason Wayne Corbett Jr. Talayla Denise Jones. Tayden Tate Ansley. Litsy Gomez Hernandez. Tyler Anthony Cowles. Joel Garcia. Dylan Collier. Malachi Savon Graham. Cole William Duval. Joshua Devin Erickson. Luke Dawson Cummings. Dylan James Fisher. Hayden Wyatt Billingsley. Ryan Gordon. Faith Ann Couch. Braden Cole Jones. Naomi Jasmine Culver. Trenton Alexander Grubbs. Diego Contreras Smalling. Marcos Antonio Gallegos. Genesis Marie Bustamante. Jordan Isaac Hood. Ruby Elizabeth Berry. Emma Faye Cotner. Gage Hammock. Rory Lynn DeWeese. Michael Allen Henderson. Ashley Marie Berry. Zachary Michael Hall. Paige Elizabeth Black. Zachary Michael Fulton. Tyler Joseph Byrne. Manuel Perez Flores. Daniel Javier Beza. Ashley Nicole Garcia Sandanova. Marisa Lizette Aguilas. Alexander Aguayo Hasso. Joshua Scott Douglas. Andrew James Henson. Jordan Teller Carol Color. Sawyer Cole Helm. Courtney Duffy. Sage Marie Jackson. Javier Apuesa. Jaden Nicole Enlow. Nasia Maxine Clements. 
Jadean Ellen Floyd Wright. Natalie Christina Dolgoven. Blake Keith Fuller. Tasha Marie Conley. Justin Arthur Fleek. Janie Carolyn Ackley. Olivia Grace Foster. Garrett David Deal. Bailey Sage Huff. Gabriella Donna Ash. Emily Gardner. Lillianne Victoria Dodson. Carolina K. Giroux. Laurel Aguirre. Jamie Rayan Fennell. Esteban Aguirre. Hey, Harley Don Genzel. Jason Larry Bishop. Kaya Lee Ewing. Preston Shane Carter. Ryan Lynn Hacker. Ruben Alejandro Eris Testa. Lindsay Marie Harris. William Jack Browning. Adeline Renhorn. Chelsea Aline Chadwell. Shelby Grayson. Madison Marie Avila. Miley Kylan Harp. Sasha Sue Ann Bowman. Inez Gonzalez. Christina Dixon. Koshaya Harding. Riley Jean Collins. Michaela Marie Eccles. Zoe Kate Aguirre. Yanni Galbraith. Shania Rain Betts. Winter Huffman. Jasmine Barnes. Kimberly Henchy. Kaishia Deshawn Kathy. Avery Marie Edmonds. Kyla Cato. Connor Garen Harris. Aria Marie Baker. Weston Hulls. Hannah Brazel. Nick Shane Hulls. Natalie Grace Collier. Kelly Charlene Bragg. Amy Arrocho Rios. Amaya Hurd. Kyla Aliyah Castro. Michael Darnell Jenea. Bailey Michelle Baldwin. Emily Haida. Marissa Faith Davis. Malachi Johns. Bailey Nicole Bauer. Joseph Caleb Michael Green. Mackenzie Grace Damron. Kerrigan Wynn. Addison Elaine Cobb. Kira Ann Heald. Ty William Berry. Bea Espago. Ramses Iram Cabral. Caitlin Ann Hill. Isaac James Campbell. Cooper Oliver Godsey. Mohammed Abdullah Alasmari. Adam Joyce. Aldehir Campos. Madeline Day Edison. Ethan James Benson. Marta Guseva. William David Bragg. Samuel Jill. Abigail Marie Boyer. Katie Rose Gerhard. Hannah Renee Dufriend. Kylie Therese Huffakre. Michael Alex Buckley. Jenna Nicole Hamilton. Andrew David Belk. Grant William Galloway. Kendrick Matthew Douglas. Brooklyn Nicole Brown. Kevin Doe. Malena Annalise Jensen. Callie Ann Duncan. Ian Keith Griffin. 
Juliana Gabrielle Chang. Ethan Alexander Griffin. Ali Carricker. Caden James Grimes. Sophia Isabel Cisneros. Ryan King Her. Mackenzie Jade Bennett. Jonathan Lee James Jr. Jose Alfredo De Leon. Brayden Johnson. Kenya Chavez. Tyler Anthony Gill. Gabriella Nicole Diaz. Aaron Anthony Johnson. Marquise DeAnthony Brown. Carrington Jewel Forte. Travante Omerion Bikes. Anisha Lashawn Herrera. Zeru Tomasa Gambiana. Jacob Preston Jennings. Jacob Andrew Baca. Jacob Christopher Garvey. Mason Robert Atkinson. Luke Boyd Gilliland. Holly Anthony Allen. Nicholas Joe Fuller. Ryan Chickwindu. Gary Wayne Federhoff the third. Ryan Chickadoo. <laughs> Makai Jamari Hanelli. Carter Lee Atwell. Javion Franklin. Caleb Michael Bacon. Marion Ray Sean Horn. Chandler Clark. Brady Patrick Jones. Haley Nicole Bendett. Abraham Brody Hodges. Slade Randall Calvert. Drew Elizabeth Gutierrez. Blythe Owen Alexander. Zoe Alexis Haas. Cody Allen Durling. Caleb Jake Helmick. Aiden Matthew Colquitt. Zachary Taylor Hobbs. Jacob Lemuel Bowers. Mitchell Guthrie. Tristan Alejandro Chavez. Wesley Allen Goins. Yang Hoi Yula. Scott Elliot Hildebrand. Cayman Sean Burris. Jonah James Hicks. Braden Joseph Bryans. Easton Gage Fagerberg. Brienne Alyssa Cross. Tucker Goodenough. Ryan Danielle Denny. Jack Ryan Harjo. Desiree Lynn Brown. Chloe Elizabeth Hansen. Iviante Leon Anderson. Caitlin Danielle Hitt. Cheyenne Martavia Brown. Sierra Dawn Hicks. Marley Scott Cox. Liliana Isaacson. Tate Barnoski. Reese Thompson Fulmar. Merced Eduardo Becerra. Olivia Jade Gaddis. Mitchell Vance Banning. Christian Lucas Edwards. Emma Marie Bynum. Audra Nicole Fuller. Vanessa Renee Alvarado. Joseph Aurelis Harsgoff. Joseph Emmett Bolin. Blake Ann Helmer. Anaya Marie Dishman. Katie Marie Jacobson. 
Terion Crisp. Amira Grace Eid. Kennedy Grace Bayer. Camila Alexis Desiree Jaka. James Oliver Bragg. Jacqueline Herr. Promise Joy Burrell. <laughs> Abigail Grace Easton. Vikelmi Aranguren. Emma Grace Gardner. Trinity Sherelle Carter. Kylie Ann Houston. Madison Nicole Byrne. Emma Marie Hendrickson. Cadence Sloan Davis. Caitlin Nicole Jones. Nicholas Avery Beard. Samantha Ann Gerchman. Matthew Tiu Dang. Ariana Rebecca Nicole Griffin. John Fitzgerald Baker, Jr. Justin Lee, Ireland. Casey Tyler Cole. Elise Marie Henley. Logan Alexander Bomer. Jaden Carl Graves. Carson Lee Brown. Ryan Scott Gould. Dakota Trinidad de los Santos. Ashlyn Danielle Hall. David Alejandro Castillo. Caitlin Paige Hamilton. Cohen Michael Cannon. Cayman Gage Graham. Joshua Enrico Calvin Barden. Trace Fitzpatrick. Riley Colleen Blackford. Griffin Michael Hewitt. Alexa Carly Dunn. Alexis Rose Hall. Aniston Paige Craig. Samantha Marie Griffin. Dakota Jackson Brassfield. Shayton Riley Guess. Charlie Thomas Bowles. Frederick Ramsey Hawkins. Josie Lee Coltharp. Ian Michael Kaihart. Molly Grace Booker. Ethan Brian Hoppinen. Brandon James Etchley. Dylan Wade Hoffman. Rusty Dylan Acock. Caden Matthew Grunow. Ian Hunter Billings. Ethan William Gould. Julia Elizabeth Chienza. Haley Elizabeth Evans. Emma Nicole Diebold. Joshua Aaron Fletcher. Jordan Janae Brown. Kenny Russell Groves. Chloe Michelle Daniel. Jonathan Chokey Her. Christina Lynn Damron. Christian Thomas Haynes. Marie Duckworth. Ryan Joseph Ford. Riley Don Carmen. Johnny Hang. Autumn Nicole Barlin. Caleb Christian Scott Hayes. Grace Christian Blonsky. Ethan Lee Featherstone. Paige Olivia Cody. Colton Garrett Hall. Ali Paige Deal. Brendan Joseph Griego. Jamisha Ravon Bell. Aiden Mitchell Farr. Jade D'Angela Berry. Kaylee Jane Gondals. 
Michaela Ann Chavez. Jordan Ray Griggs. Cameron Jane Abbott. Aiden Collins Everett. Brianna Ashlia Debos. Alexander Ellis. Shia Taylor Blevins. Emily Deanne Hale. Lakaya Blevins. Peyton Gail Hinkle. Kaylee Nicole Cooper. Blake Everett Farron. JC K. Bertino. Sydney Renee Gibbs. Laura Isabel Chavez. Christian Michael Forbes. Jacqueline Cadena. Elijah Blue Hines. Daniel Cortez. Fernando Ibarra Zapeda. Ulysses Costera. Alberto Holguin. Elijah Jaden Bustamante. Paul Gonzalez. Annette Castillo. Michelle Gonzalez. Natalie Joy Coe. Hamina Gonzalez. Leah Alexa Curry. Abraham Gonzalez. Riley Lackenzie Bryant. Elias Eliseo Gonzalez. Sabrian Sinai Blocker. Ricardo Esparza. Brooke Aaron Dunnington. Matthew Hayden Jalea. Kendall Janae Brown. Hunter Michael Gibson. Alenis Michelle Calderon. Aiden John. Eduardo Embrys. Ava Rayanne Hoke. Joseph Emmanuel Breedlove. Sherlyn Gonzalez. Francisco Javier Gonzalez. Josie Lynn Hines. Preston Jason Baker. Keegan James Edget. Cameron Jeffrey Braden Avard. Emily Marie Fisher. Bryston Daniel Bray. Riley Grace Hale. Aiden Christopher Austin. McKenna Joy Hope. Luke Josiah Brown. Karis Janelle Henderson. Brennan Santiago Nahara Contreras. Gino Ray Haas. Mateo Alexander Segura Clausen. Darian Renee Garrison. Sean Blotsky. Ariana Isabel Joyce. Flor Delgadillo. Aiden Michael Haas. Maxwell Raider Barnes. Jaden David Goodson. Caleb Michael Cottrell. Alexander Allen Hinkle. Ella Eve Conley. Seth Carter Holt. Taylor Nicole Collins. Aiden Jackson Harrison. Brianna Grace Castleberry. Peyton Dean Gallagher. Avery Marie Bass. Bradley Ross Freeman. 
Emily Allison B. Jordenberg. Anaya Naomi Giovanni. Caleb Shea Abercrombie. Ryan Fox. Lexi Marie Baker. Nathan Gray Holland. Caden Andrew Brassfield. Kiara Frierson. Aaron Braden Cook. Alexis Paige Huff. Kobe Ryan Downs. Alexis Gregory. Shay Brooklyn Brown. Luke Daniel Fry. Kiana Joy Barker. Carter Andrew Collier Gastineau. Carson Blake Brewer. Christopher Gutierrez. Hallie Sinai Byron. Woo. Colton Wade Gates. Brenna Jasmine Day. Matthew John Friend. Roman Beams. Rebecca Jean Harris. Autumn Rose Blanchard. Corrine Leanne Hanna. Evelyn Suzette Colburn. Rachel Gray Hornbeck. Gabriel Ray Blackshear. Driana Ivy. Allison Ash. Chelsea Gayton. Madeline Mad Benton. Cassandra Gould. Andrew Daniel Brown. Anissa Elizabeth Harden. Joseph William Baker. Clara Hahn. Daniel Wanchai Bickle. Savannah Marie Honeycutt. Evan James Acre. Cassandra Lorena Guerrero. Miles Adrian Corey. Autumn Elizabeth Haddon. Joshua Noble Droll. Ella Monet Joyce. Jonathan Cameron Corlett Christian. Jasmine Cheyenne Jimison. Brayden Richard Combs. Bailey Karen Jennings. Edwin Gerardo Anaya. Alexis Dawn Jamison. Hector Dela Cruz. Maya Amari Felton. Tyler Scott Barnett. Peyton Alexander Filner. Darian Michael Blackwell. Connor Quinn Fogelman. Christian Andrew Clark. Danielle Barrington Elliott. Jillian Reese Carlock. Caleb Allen John Fields. Connor Allen Baker. Joel Aaron Gilstrap. Ethan Brock Anderson. Tatum Renee Fraser. Peyton Cheyenne Brewer. Edward Nico Spruce Jackson. Marge Marge Renice Adams. Skyler Matthew Hurst. Julia Angeline Adams. Cheyenne Samuel Henderson. Kiara Carsoni. Cody Allen Kobanke. Angie Alexis Castro Tomas. Brooke Allen Price. Chandra Elise Brock. Micah Oliver Miller. David Isai Carbajal. Aiden.
Megan Ashley Lynam, Haley Dawn Brownfield, Natalie Grace Kennedy, Carla Araceli Chavaria, Brianna Leanne Nup, Emily Rowan Combs, Kylie Brooke Mays, Max Logan Clark. April Anna Olison, Gabriel Elijah Castile, Angelica Rose Morillo, Jacob Bearer, Carly Marie Payne, Devin Lane Bergen, Gracie Ann Lutz, Tyler Reed Calvert. Esselyn Leith Esha Peterson, Alyssa Joe Axtell, Alicia Faye Police, Thank you. Abigail Christine Baxley, Isabella Jordan Noblet, Madison Alisa Castellanos, Sean Michael Ketford. Tierra Rain Calderwood. Min Nook Nguyen. Taylor James Baker. Navea Jade Mitchell. Dylan Cagle. Nicole Marie Ordes. Ryan Nathan Dowdell. Morgan Grace Ogle. Skylar Cameron. Corinne Nicalia Peters. Sarah Jordan Duwell. Brandy Michelle Pentagraph. Jewel Pela Kaywood. Yadira Jasmine Pinacho. Charlene Gail Berry. Marisol Bianca Mendez. Milagros Isabella Carreno. Bianca Melanie Perez. Kiara Lee Calloway. Sida Priscilla Yamas Rodriguez. Bryson Clinton Bishop. Cecilia Anaya Poise. Cody Jacob Bank. Allison Renee Perrier. Brittany Castro. Lauren Lucille Proven. Laisha Coronado. Lauren Emily Phillips. Julady Lisbeth Duran. Isabella Grace Mott. Oh, Dallas Cruz. Allison Nicole Ledger. Crystal Cruz. Riley Grace McDaniel. Annie Marie Dyer. Henry Willis Martin. Brianna Nicole Clegg. Bryson Catalino Keith, Trenton Jean Byerly, Andrea Christy Casper, Lina Jacqueline Black, Sterling Lake Ledoux, Samara Marilu Kenora Vera, Evan Paul Camergill. Jacqueline Delgado. Isabella Laura Musa. Adeline Becerra Gonzalez. William Barrett Pittinger. Mr. Sean Bean. Lucas Dane Perdue. Lachey Deontay Ekins. Sydney Lauren Pennington. Maria Lynn Baker. Alexander David Kirby.
Sylvia Deshay Davis. Macy Elizabeth Pugh. Aronza DeVries. Benjamin Aaron McDowell. Kylie Rose Bucky. Nicholas Dot Lai. Esteban Emmanuel Casas. Jada Lene Lemon. Rylan Daly Bibi. Isabella Grace Moore. Tyler Ray Collier. Trayden Hunter Karch. Garen Michael Dill. Eli Kyan Kimari. Alexander Stephen Bloxham. Matthew Lee Nauber. Christine Elizabeth Rupp. Casey Dean Meringue. Avery Sheehan. Tristan Ung Kim. Jaden Lorraine Sutton. Andrew J.G. Lee. Trevor Michael Turney. Trevor Dean Paul. Caleb Michael Taylor. Jensen Christopher Linfoot. Sydney Michelle Ryan. Harrison Walker Kidney Kennedy. Zoe Paige Woodman. Damian Munoz. Adrian Anthony Romo. Caleb Joseph Nibblink. Emma Sumner. Gavin Alexander King. Abby Recor. Elizabeth Ovenician. Sarah Faith Reddick. Carson Renee Luker. Amber Leanne Smith. Mary Beth Nodian. Zion Quatrell Devonte Taylor. Elizabeth Shaylin Matthews. Kiana Nicole Vanskoy. Daniel J. O. Haley Nicole Don Young. Fung Fam Ting Winning. Christopher Michael Wiles. Angelina Lanvi Nguyen. Alejandro Gabriel. Vasquez Pagan. V. E. New Win. Briley Turnham. Christina Jasmine Perez. Ashley Megan Troll. Trista Denae Martin. Jacob Wayne Shotton. Claire Abigail Linto. Karis Rachel Richardson. Madison Grace Long. Evan Coming Tao. Tessa and Sierra Phillips. Celeste Desiree Shoop. Ali Sharkaway Omar. Jaden Marie Turner. Gracie Lynn Marcy. Adam Smith. Evelyn Joy Lopez. Aaron W. Smith. Grace Lee. Rain Jakob Zimmerman. Matthew J. Lena. Ryan David Vaught. Lindsay Marie Lee. Alan Michael Tupas. Madeline Elizabeth Morales. Kyler Britt Wyrick. Hannah Taylor Morris. Alyssa Pearl Westcott. Kat McKee. Isam Grant Carter Spillman. Anna Nell Lamb. 
Kaden Michael Wittig. Trinity Lace Kissery. Lillian Faith Rayborn. Petra Alexandria Lagunas. Cassidy Noel Simmons. Roman Sean Laurie. Douglas Jason Douglas Saunders. Hunter Paul Nussbaum. Kylie Simmons. Michaela Allison Ponfergberger. Alexander Sanchez. Hayla Brooke Mills. Tyler William Thresher. Kimberly Paige Crute. Brian Joseph Thomas. Lily Catherine Coonsey. Kyle Solomon. Amanda Paige McCarthy. Kate Das Yazzie. Ashton Devin Payne. Alexander Smith. Jordan Lee No. Bradley Ray Yarrington. Andy Kwok Nguyen. Donnie Lynn Ree the second. Niku Lor. Anotai Yang. Benjamin Allen Long. Joseph William White. Javier Ciangelo Martin. Brighton Alexander Snyder. <coughs> Matthew Antonio Perez. Terrace Nicholas Kyle Renfro. Reese Allen Nichols. Noah Coburn Thomas. Noah James McCarthy. Caleb Anthony Simmons. Preston Mua. Savannah Nuki Zong. Jacob Keller. Michelle Gosheng Vang. Chance Tong Sing Mua. Jennifer Alexandra Velasquez. Nathaniel D'Angelo Martinez Hernandez. Kendrell Drew Reeves. Evie Grace Noel. Madeline Rose Wilson. Mikkel Ty Marion. Amanda Marie Werner. Fua Nguyen. Mitchell J. Steen. Logan Carlin Phillips. Jenna Madison Smith Soltis. Joshua Lee Lloyd the second. Avery Brianna Richter. Emily Ray Martin. Jacob Mark Schwarzkopf. Aaron Edward Mills. Chrysler John Anonical Turla. Alexandria Grace Keel. Adriel Sagala. <coughs> Abigail Grace Mallory. Angel Fidel Tostado. Olivia Grace Kelly. Jairo Rocha. Mika Rose Landis. Marco Antonio Sandoval. Colin Thomas Killian. Chance. Arthur Ray Samuel. Benjamin Wayne McLarenon. Trevor Jackson Strope. Michael Patrick Page II. Brian Rojas. Caleb Alexander Nichols. Elijah Ricardo Rivero. Ethan Itai Moyo. Joseph Anthony Sabella. Ezekiel.
Ezekiel Zavion Motley. Jazani Saldivar. Tavon Jaquan Prince Manning. Dagan Ann Sears. Brock Douglas Machoda. Delta Marie Strickland. Corbin Dean Lee. Lindsay Wybon Samuel. Derek Clifford Linson. Jay Sean Michael White. Austin Clay Mears. Ennis Uje. Shelby Renee Livingston. Jaden Christian Skinner. Faith Nesbitt. Timothy Jean Welch. Isabella Aiden Livingston. Leo Chinu Vang. Jasmine Joyce O'Willy. Ethan Blake Waters. Kennedy Shay Elise McKee. Ashton Wells. Tatum Joanne Maley. Faith Christine Walter. Justice Caleb Holiday. Sean Marcus Strickland. Lane Joseph Cleaver. Alexander Jeffrey Shoot. Jacob Blake Kinsey. Javier Vasquez. Saya Vanessa Newell. The Osadi Zadai Ramirez. Reagan Elise Colleen. Damian Davis Wyant. Chloe Sandra Marie Lohman. Dalen Zamon Williams. Liliana Price. Jacoby Napoleon Thomas. Bria Maddox Myers Cohen. Morgan Brandolin Lanter. Neela Wagner. Brayden Barry Langham. Flora Van Funken. Catherine Keeley Mason. Gariana Camille Sample. Kiana Marie Murray. Beatrice Riali. Mackenzie Taylor Nicole McGuire. Georgia Tonali. Marcus O'Mara. Emily Grace Shader. Samantha Grace Pinsart. Miguel Angel Trejo. Caitlin Marie Farr. Brittany Lynn Rose. Lacey Lee McPhail. Ryan Laurel C. Maria Jade Morales. Cheyenne Hope Sperry. Ogosa Obefoon. Mason Allen Rollo. Timmy Michael Sanoa. Stephen Thomas Wilson. Faith Osei Okoruwa. Evan Christopher Reed. Angie Esmeralda Perez. Jonah Elizabeth Watkins. Alexandra Sue McKay. Carrington Abigail Simmons. Sophia Gamalia Mananga. Madeline Elizabeth Watkins. Ethan Anthony Persnell. Emma Elizabeth Whaley. Handsome Nalusiba. Joshua David Wall. Von Lee Love the Third. 
Joseph Lawrence York. Kylie Marie Lamont. Jesse Wayne Waits. Zion Rebecca Keller. Mason Stewart Stout. Samuel Mack. Trinity Lauren Stanton. Andre Mac Eugene Maxey. Sean Philip Walsh. Jordan Mitchell Love. Clayton Evan Wagner. Julius McVeigh Jr. Mackenzie Lee Williams. Brianna Marie McConnell. Elena Michelle Roach. Aiden Crenshaw Kender. Quentin Sterling Simmons. Miles Richard Matoni. Kaylee Raylan Stone. Trenton Alexander Patin. Victor Antonio Vidania. Gavin Lee Mayer. Noel Victoria Scott. Xander Tobias Morris. Dalton Wesley Stark. Andrew Lowe. Allison Donnell Whitaker. Jose Miguel Lopez. Jamie Darlene Raleigh. Trent Austin Liskowski. <laughs> Cammy Lane Kleski Wilcox. Hector Alexis Lopez. Spencer Curtis Smith. Uriel Medina Rosado. Amber Renee Wolf. Ulysses Martinez. Kevin Chad Seamster. Arian Laboff. Jillian Grace Tippett. Aiden Jonathan Lamb. Sydney Stancil. Kaylee Marie Klein. Zoe Grace Taylor. Rodney Ray Moses. Megan Brienne Woolridge. Megan Brian Pickup. Parker Christian Simmons. Jude Christine Melton. Sydney Grace Simmons. Cassidy Lee Murphy. Ivory Bell Rankin. Ethan Cole McDougall. Kaylin Marie Turnage. Sydney Grace Kelso. William Christopher White. Caleb Richard Mozinski. Paul Tejador Casas and Prem. Mia Rose Gail McGuire. Tanner J. Williams. Jada Lene Moment. Caleb James Young. Lindsay Michelle Lawson. Michaela Louise Tunnel. Piper Olivia Cop. Keller Ryan Stump. Devin Peacock. Trinity Marie Reed. Roy Ray Koch the Fourth. Emily C.N. Wells. Gage Lee Nolan. Evan Lee Robinson. Natalie Paige Nunes. Dax David Salisbury. Anthony Stephen LaCroix. Sage Aaron Smith. Matthew Lawrence Marshall. Chloe Grace Ziegler. Elizabeth Noel Maldonado. Brianna Lynn Yoder. Tristan Michael McCarter. Grant Edward Stussy. 
Alexis May Pacheco. Nicholas David Wilson. Gracie Mercedes Lopez. Jeffrey Pierre Thomas. Michael Joseph Lighting. Shaughnessy Nairi Wilson. William Taylor Delaney Persons. Tatiana Ariel Sampson. Agam Singh Muka. Alyssa Gaumi Vang. Garrett Lee Myrick. Sierra Michelle Wolf. Gavin Liam McLeod. Ella Marie Sullivan. Zachary Ryan King. Hannah White. Noe Alexander Perez. Blaine Schmidt. Aiden Michael Pickett. Hunter James Stidham. Juan Carlos Mata. Jacob Taylor Tao. Corbin Alexander Malloy. Anthony Winford. Jacob Stanley Lobsinger. Michael Anthony Wood. Gabriel Wilfredo Nanita. <laughs> Alicia Marie Russell. Olivia Lorene Nelhorn. Riley Joe West. Kaylee Ray McClellan. Kira Sky Youngwolf. Kimberly May Masterson. Ellis Lamont Tomlin. Amira Devon Palacio. Evan Douglas Swank. Trinity Peterson. Dagan Tobias Wall. Gabriella Lee Moyes. Ryan Kenneth Sexton. Angela Konadu Ohini. Tristan Sayer Tiga. Jessamine Lee Katzman. Decorion Jaboy Templeton. Peyton Helen Pinkerton. Ashley Nicole Rowland. Allie Reagan Malone. Ainsley Marie Robertson. Madison Ann Prinzo. Kiara Nicole Sudduth. Benjamin Lucas Summers. Maxwell James Towery. Mason Cade Morrow. Miles Jackson Towery. Eden Ann Osborne. Aiden Michael Ternius. Eli Cade Payne. Kyler Lane Wilkinson. Chandler Ray Mabes. Peyton Treadway. Darian Patrick Perry. Phoenix Golden Sunshine Voice. Mason Andrew Murphy. Jer David Simon. Darian Michael Potter. Noah Lee Williams. Noah Ray Padilla. Owen David Seba. Joanne Anthony Pareles. Noah Isaac Roberts. Martins Olua Toby Chinedu Olugolo. Maria Carla Rodriguez. Yeshaya Siegel. Joel Alden. Dylan Tyler Stovall. Michael Corday Matthews. Bryce 
Kelly Wittenberg. Cameron Marcel Parker. Bradley Edward Sacedo. Janelle Brooke Kennedy. Robert Scott Smith. James Valdez Matthews. Dawson Ryan Repslager. Ryan Moore. Anthony Price Ray. Adrian Sellers. Riley Allen Bendergriff. Alexandra Palafox. Aiden Scott Ray. Tiet Gia Mock. Daniel Jose Rodriguez. Yamalair Elizabeth Martinez Alvarado. Emily Yang. Clinton Lee Laddie. Marina Zhang. Anderson Paul Mulatto. Simon Braxton Riggs. Brian Martinez. Alexia Michelle Raymer. Daisy Estefanie Pineda Reyes. Preston Cole Thomason. Mariana Giselle Padilla. Alexander Matias Torres. Mark Litvinov. Diego Soriano. Ivan Ivanovic Napolinuk. Jordan James Reed. Hanfa Khan. Gunnar Scott Wilkinson. Crystal Laura Madero. Parker Whitcraft. Lamia Mahmood. Angel Reyes. Tyler Ray Lacroix. Hunter James Benderford. Arman Noor Kamala Rahim. Jonathan Andrew Staten. Matthew Jacob Pitzer. Landon David Vaca. Jacob Riley Moles. Cheyenne Wyatt. Emma Ray McCraw. Ryan Ludnell Williams. Christopher Dwayne Kemper. Malachi Seth Willoughby. Justin Garrett Cross. Paige Avery Brace Tyler. Anthony Joseph Pavoni. Addie Dale Smith. Seth Henry Luce. Madison McKay Rose. Olivia Rose Martin. Monica Lizeth Ramirez. Logan Paul McGuire. Marie Ruby Ruiz. Garrett Anthony McFadden. <laughs> Netmini Vijay Singa. Allison Dawn Kirby. Matthew David Updike. Lauren Grace Curroy. Alexis Marie Smock. Cole Philip Quayle. Jordan Alexa Umholt. Brandon Andre Polk. Dominique Alexis Willingham. Diego Javier Lopez. Olivia Warren Wisnet. Molly Sharice Sopake Maxson. Cadence Nicole Reddig. Sullivan James Newen. Brayden Michael Underwood. Sydney Renee Mayfield. Yuretsi Reyes. 
Caleb Daniel Officer. Jessica Rachel Skenlen. Kevin Mendez. Giselle Serrano. Jose Enrique Navaluzaro. Rosa Ramirez. Michelle Navarrete Carales. Alexa Sarabia. Alejandra Pirella Romero. Wilmer Alexander Velagas Bolnilla. Rosella Maria Novaro Barrera. Luis Angel Silva Alvarez. Victoria Oriana Gutierrez. Jaden Tarver. Patrolin Natembo. Anthony Michael Vincenti. <laughs> Jackson Joseph Thurman. Brooke Starlin Snelling. Diana Resendez. Haley Elizabeth Williams. Megan Ashley Tackentine. Hannah Lauren White. Emmy Reese Wagner. Addison May Wall. Lyrico Jenna Sanders. Delaney Marie Shreve. Finley Faith Wimpy. Kaiba Jaden Tiam. Allison Paige Zilmer. Mackenzie Grace Turner. Emma Grace Riley. Megan Mackenzie Vickers. Hannah Marie Schneider. Jasmine Sanchez. Amari Tiana Williams. Yadira Ann Rivera. Jasmine Raquel Wallace. Rachel Corrine Tilton. Olivia Marie Smith. Abby Jane Rock. Alyssa Kayla Walker. Alexa Jade Wilson. Connor. Alan Willie. Cheyenne Nicole Wolf. Robert Spears Jennings. Sterling Maurice Ramsey the second. Devin Terrell Shaw. Zachary Andrew Spencer. Alexander Richard Spencer. Griffin Thomas Steber. Ready? Samuel Aaron Zimmerman. Caleb Turner.
Alyssa Nicole West. I know how to say your name. Rachel and Marie Zirkel. Lexington Faith Young. Rex Ethan Sontag. Grayson Wolfgang Robinson, U.S. Air Force. Jasmine Reyes. Yara Ahab Suleiman. Danielle Nicole Walker. Ashley Renee Robler. Kimbra Raven Hope Riley. Marlene Ariana Torres. Sydney Renee Schultz. Melody Annalise Fortin. Elaine Grace Whitney. Kelvin Ray Swanson. Shante Orlandra Whitfield. Elise Michaela Riley. Kaylee Lorraine Ramos. Arelli Silver. Ser Mari Margarita Zapata. Nathan Van Van Vu. Please be seated. Once we are finished with the turning of the tassels and the playing of Tiger Pep, seniors, you are dismissed to meet your family and friends, take pictures, and then attend the project graduation celebration. Admission will take place from 1030 to 11 in the gym lobby and students will be released at 2 a.m. Food and activities will be provided. Now for the part you've been waiting for and now Mr. 
Farlow, would you please return to the podium? The Senior Executive Board has declared that we will meet again in the city of Broken Arrow at a place to be announced in the year 2032. Class of 2022, please stand. Drum roll. <laughs> Graduates of 2022, turn your tassels! Take a new height, you can feel the air rise And I'm feeling so alive, and it's fear till I die like 